can two amateur home cooks beat one professional chef in a cooking competition? <laughs> What's up everybody, I'm Nick from MasterChef Season 10. I've been cooking since I was about eight or nine years old, watching my grandmother, my great grandmother, and I always just loved it. Hey guys, I'm Spencer, I work at BuzzFeed. Uh, I'm a home cook, and I won the very first amateur first professional chef cooking competition. Hi, I'm Kayla, I work at BuzzFeed. I am a sometimes cook, and I won the second amateur versus professional chef cooking competition. And today, we are taking on a professional chef together. We're teaming up, we're gonna take him down. We're gonna try to. How's Hi. it going? Nick, nice Kayla. to meet you. Kayla. Hey, nice Spencer, to meet you. nice Spencer, to meet you. how's it going? We're ready to beat you, so uh, oh. just a heads up, we're gonna oh, wow. win. Oh, wow, we're gonna um, start off like Spencer's that. Spencer's spicy today. Yeah. No, I don't know what this challenge is. All I know is we're cooking together against you, a professional yeah. chef. Tell us what the challenge is. Okay. Are you feeling good about that? I'm feeling great about that. So you look nervous. Well, I'm, I just always look nervous. I eat takeout all the time, so I feel like I'm gonna be really good at this. There we go. The two of us together, this is just yeah. like our challenge. I don't eat takeout. It's one of those guys. I'd wish you good luck, but I don't want you to win. So well, great. Good best luck. Best of luck. Really nice to meet luck. you, Elsa. Really. Yes. Yeah. See you on the playing field. You're going down. Bye. All right. So walking over, I see my two options. It's fast food or the poke bowl. And right away, I'm thinking poke bowl. I love fresh fish and I love rice. So I think I can make something pretty wacky out of this. And there's a lot of weird assorted stuff in the fridge from white chocolate and dark chocolate chips, all the way to eggs and different cheese. So there's a lot of different things I could work with here. I'm gonna get some oil to fry. I think that's good. I think I'm gonna try to make a sushi burger. I'm gonna break these down into their different parts so I'll have the rice and all the fish. I'm gonna try out all these sauces because it's good to give them a try just to see what they are, see if they could add any different dimensions to the dish. Because this is a competition where we have to think outside the box, I wanna make something that's gonna leave them questioning what they're looking at, but also hopefully give them something that tastes delicious. I think I may try to take that rice and see if I can work with it on maybe frying it off to make a bun. Um, I'm not sure how that's gonna work, so we'll see what happens. Oh, buddy. Okay, what are you thinking? We walk over to the table and I see a burger and fries and a shake, and I have no idea what to make. That's already a meal in itself. How do we elevate that? What do we do to that? I thought my anxiety was at a 10 beforehand and now it's at a 15. It's just through the roof. Part of me wants to go dessert route because it's unexpected and then we can use the shake. I love a ground beef dessert. I hate you. Let's see what else we have. I opened up the fridge and I see bacon, tomatoes, chocolate chips, cheese, butter, basic fridge stuff, I suppose. Still, I had no idea <laughs> what to do with any of that. Check the cabinet, okay. Spencer. Ooh, condensed milk. And I see this can of condensed milk. And I'm still thinking about the vanilla milkshake and all the chocolate chips that are in the fridge. And Rachel Wright has this awesome five minute fudge recipe that I remembered from my childhood because my mom and I used to make it together. It's so simple, it's literally just chocolate chips and condensed milk. And I know you love bacon and you used bacon on your meal last time. So we could use some of that. And I was thinking, okay, well, if we have to use the French fries. That'll be like the salty component with the bacon. And the vanilla shake could be like Chocolate vanilla extract. Chocolate and bacon vibe together. They definitely do, like the salty sweet I was, combination. I was here for it. Okay. It sounds like a sweet route. I hate you so much. <laughs> I have to be a little bit wary of the fact that they both separately won their competitions before in this. So they're both winners and they're teaming up here. I have some competition to face. So you guys ready? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're... No. <laughs> and then what do we do? What am I saying? <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, let's Good luck. Good luck, guys. So the clock counts down three, two, one, and the first thing that happens isn't actually food. The trash talking already starts, so it seems like it's gonna be more of a trash talking back and forth than an actual cooking showdown. Making the bacon. I bet Nick has never made bacon in his life. I've made a lot of bacon. Yeah, that sounds fake. He's a professional chef, and I don't want to lose. Gotta uh, so, get him off his game. So I think we have to like throw some shade at him. We have to trash talk him. We have to. You have to be a little mean. You can't be nice yeah. in competition. Hey Nick, do you need oil for bacon? Just like, out of curiosity. No, curious. bacon has a lot of fat in See, it, so no, you don't. Food. You guys can ask one more question. I'm not helping you after that. I gave them one last question that I would answer to help them through the competition, and their question was, How is it gonna feel it. to lose to two amateur chefs? Is that your question? They wasted it, and that's totally fine. I'm just gonna toast my sesame seeds over here and mind my own business, you know? Okay, well, good luck with your little sesame seeds. I'm really good at cooking, cooking bacon. Let's just test it. <gasps> Ooh, that? love that sizzle. 
Oh, so good. They're cooking their bacon. Doesn't look like the pan's hot enough either. Not good. Should I turn it on? No, don't listen to him. Don't let him psych you out. <laughs> You've won with this, with bacon. I so. did pick up bacon with tongs in the last challenge. So don't even challenge. worry about what you said. Yeah. Those were really good. I definitely days. wouldn't turn up the heat on the bacon. I'm tossing all these different tips at them about their pan and the heat of it for cooking their bacon, and I think I'm getting in their heads a little bit. How's your bacon looking over there? It's like so good. This is, is it? probably the best bacon I've ever cooked ever. You want me to teach you a, a trick over here? Yeah. One hand egg crack? Uh-huh. You do that ever? Oh yeah, all the time. Like all okay. in my spare time before I go to bed. Just go like that and then. Ooh, neck. Ooh, I'm cracking eggs with one hand. I think it's too hot. It's too hot! No, I've never made bacon before. You haven't made bacon before? I don't need bacon. Is it too late to switch teams? Kayla wanted to switch teams all of a sudden after she trash talked me a bunch, so it was too late for that. How are you gonna taste your food? I mean, I can, I can good? eat it. Have you guys just only touched the bacon so far? Yeah. Well, we only have one thing, but also the fudge, we need the bacon to be done to incorporate. I was good. just gonna see if I could get one chocolate oh, chip in Nick's pan from here. Kayla was trying to throw chocolate chips into my frying oil, which would have probably ruined it. I'm just letting them do their thing and they can get distracted all they want. And if it gets in, you have to keep it there. <laughs> I hope you go to the end. Ah, oh, dang it. And you missed. Wait, my this bacon is burning. The bacon was burning while we were doing that, so really it was a distraction on ourselves, and we owned ourselves. A self-sabotage. Yeah. He was like flowering over there. He was like pat, pat, flower, flower. I was like. I'm actually a little worried about the rice holding together with my buns for my sushi burger, but I love trying new things and kind of just going for it. So if this doesn't work, I'll figure it out. Rachel Ray's recipe calls for a mixture of regular semi-sweet. Why are you guys following Rachel little... Ray's recipe though? Because Rachel Ray is the queen of 30 minute meals. <laughs> I don't need this trash talking my favorite Food Network stars over the here. The whole point is to make your own dish. The key to winning this is gonna be sort of figuring out your own thing to do with this and they're over there focusing on Rachel Ray's, her recipe, so I don't know what's gonna happen with them. And we're adding bacon and french fries to it. Rachel I... Ray did this. I'm, you know what, a great chef steals from other people. That's they... not true. they <laughs> <laughs> are getting owned. We went through the whole thing in this. Just... Should I like coat the fries in the leftover bacon grease? Oh yeah, dip them. Frying their fries in the bacon fat a little bit. That's clever. That's professional chef stuff. My buns are in, but I don't know what's gonna happen when they come out. So that's what she said. They're gonna burn. It's a big waiting game. What are we doing? Oh, you're coming over here? Yeah, I just wanted to see. Kayla ran over to my station and was trying to mess me up a little bit. These are my buns over there. Oh. Inside there, they're being fried, and I'm just chopping up this. Why are you laughing? Don't look when you're chopping, you're gonna no, chop your fingers. Clouds, oh no. god, never mind. Oh my gosh. Not that bad, right? No. What if we just made the best dessert in the world? Honestly, I would take full credit. I did the can and uh, plastic wrap just because then we can take it off and it'll easily slide off. There's one little crumb. That was laying on the table. I threw it on the floor. You're like, it's not cooked. <laughs> No, it's good actually. I like it. Nick comes over, leaves his station unattended, and I'm like, mwah ha ha ha, now's my time to give the ultimate distraction. Ooh, I have a game while we wait. You guys just stay over there and I'm gonna try to get them in your mouths. Let's take this back to elementary school. Let's see if I can toss chocolate chips in your mouth. Killed at least two and a half minutes. Who knows what was happening to his food. The patties are gonna burn. That was great sabotaging, and I think that he burned his stuff, so. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna take it easy on these two, just because they're so confident in their abilities right now, and I have to really just drive it home. I'm gonna give it all I've got. So, oh it looks God, really nice. Those are really pretty. pretty yeah. You guys are so nice all of a sudden. But really, I think we need to get the judges in here, because that's. That's the way we'll really find out who won. They have the uh, final score. word. Let's do it. Let's go. Ooh, it's warm. I'm seeing some seeds here at the top. I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. So good. That is big. That's on the money. It does look like a lot of 
cooking techniques and hard work was put into this, but I am not a fan. I would definitely eat like three of these. I don't know if I'm allowed to eat all these, but. If I'm gonna be totally honest, this kind of looks a little bit like a poop ladder. Not looking too great. Mm, okay, here we go. Somehow this is worse. I see what they were going for. Very sweet. I'm not mad about it. I'm really not mad about this. Sweet and salty is definitely a popular combo. The french fries and bacon, a little off-putting, but hey, we do what we can. I would have to say dish number one is my favorite. I'll definitely have to go with this option. I'm definitely gonna go for the first dish I tried. I thought the buns are really innovative. I love rice, rice is my life. All the ingredients complement each other well. The seeds that he put on top added a little bit of extra crunch on top of the already crisp that you get from the rice patty. I can't say enough about this thing. Clear winner right here. In this competition of amateur chefs versus professional chef, <laughs> <laughs> Take out challenge. The winner is, can I have a drum roll, please? What? Uh, oh, oh. No. It's obviously him. It's very clear that you are a master chef and we are the amateurs. Two heads are not better than one. We couldn't do it. <laughs> uh, but that's great for you. Well done. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to go cry we'll a have little. To fight it. We'll have to battle against Yeah, no, then. we'll do this again and we won't have to cook using fast food next time.